Hi, I'm Richard Zato. I'm the president of Routine Aircraft Flying Experience, and I'm going to give you an introduction to a really cool airplane called the Speed Canard. <laughs> Behind me is a Gyroflug FFT SC-160B Speed Canard, and it doesn't look like a lot of other airplanes. It's got this bullet-shaped fuselage, a canard, its elevator, it has a swept wing like a jet fighter, and this thing flies like a jet fighter. <laughs> You know, most of us learn to fly in something that's got two seats side by side and doors. In this thing, you sit at the pointy end of the airplane with a great big bubble canopy and the visibility is incredible. It's a really fun airplane. Uh, we use it for training at the Routine Aircraft Flying Experience. I'll open up the canopy and show you the inside now. It's got a fi jet fighter kind of cockpit, uh, side stick where you fly it. Lots of good instrumentation in there and you sit in it like an F-16 all reclined and everything with that side stick there. It's a really fun airplane to fly. We use this to teach people how to fly long easies and very easies and other kinds of burnt retained airplanes which our organization is uh, kind of focused on. The back seat's just as roomy. The nice thing about it, it has full sets of dual flight controls so that uh, the instructor can sit back there and when I'm instructing, I can do pretty much everything that the person up front can do except start the airplane and, and manipulate the radio. So it's a really, really functional uh, instructional airplane. Tricycle gear, the nose gear retracts. The main gear don't, much like on a, on a long easy. The canard, as I mentioned before, is our elevator. When you move the stick, this is the elevator right here. The very first airplane to ever fly, the Wright Flyer, was a canard. So it's uh, real pitch sensitive, no more so than most light airplanes, and a lot of pilots uh, struggle with that at first, but it's real easy to, to, to overcome and, and get used to, because it's very natural. The side stick, just you think it and the airplane just moves. So. Uh, the canopies, like I said, each cockpit has its own canopy, really good latching system. Holds uh, 42 gallons of gas in this what we call the strake area. Both tanks feed into one common point and go straight to the engine. The engine's a Lycoming 0320, 160 horse, same engine that's in a 172. It's real easy to start. The swept wing, really unique in general aviation. Most airplanes are straight wing airplanes. There's an aerodynamic reasons why this uh, is, but it's really cool. And this winglet, is really, really uncommon in a lot of general aviation airplanes. You see them on airliners a lot, but there's a big difference between our winglet and the ones on the airliners, is we have a movable flight control. This is our rudder. And the rudder and the speed canards don't work like a Cessna or, or Piper, that you step on a rudder like this. Our rudders work independently, and you can step on both rudder pedals at the same time, and we don't have toe brakes. Our rudder pedals press out and the rudder, the rudder comes out and then the last quarter throw of the rudder pedal is the brake. It's really different. You can actually put both rudders out at the same time, get a little bit of drag like a speed brake. So the ailerons are right here just like a regular airplane. So back here is a MT constant speed three bladed prop. Really great prop for this airplane. It take, take off and climb performance is really cool. So same Lycoming motor, it's 172 I mentioned. And like I said, the rudders, they go out only in one direction, and they both go out independently. So if I was in the airplane and stepped on the rudder pedals, you could see both of them come out. That's way different than a lot of, a lot of general aviation airplanes. So it has a lot of anhedral. You see how low the wingtips are to the ground. That helps with maneuverability. Uh, the airplane rolls really nice. Uh, it's got, like I said, a good pitch rate. It's just a fun airplane. It's more sensitive than your typical general aviation airplane, like a Piper or something, but not as sensitive as a, a Pitts or an aerobatic airplane like that. So we have a lot of fun with this airplane. And if you're interested in learning to fly a canard, come see us, RutanAircraftFlyingExperience.org, RutanAFE.org. Find us everywhere on the internet.